it is Crystal with Pineapple Papers, and I have a Color Rush Studio design team layout for you. So I am using the October um, Hey Boo kit, and uh, I am going to document a photo of uh, my son and his Air Force crew um, doing some outside work, basically. And so... <laughs> You might think that doesn't really sound like Halloween. Um, I don't even, I'm not even sure if they did it in fall. It could have been in fall. Um, but the colors in the kit work perfectly. Now it is the second Thursday of the month. So uh, there is a group of my friends and I that do glaze it or lose it. Um, and if anybody was able to make a layout this month, I will have them linked down below. So I just started with a Scrapping Reflections uh, Star Stencil. Uh, it is one of the stencils of the month, so it's not available. Um, but you could use any Star Stencil. And then I used some gold glitter glaze through it. I did Let It Dry. And now that it is dry, I trimmed it down and I am going to back it on this beautiful orange plaid paper. And I am going to do basically a, a diagonal design. So I love that the Boo Crew. So here I'm just kind of going through all of the embellishments and trying to decide what I want uh, to use on this one. So one of the papers in the kit is uh, that kind of similar orange plaid uh, with white stars on them. So I did take some time and fussy cut out some of those white stars. I am going to pull in some of the wood veneer uh, leaves as well as the fabric flowers. I think I do pull some of the fabric leaves as well, but I don't end up using them. So I'm just going through all the goodies and trying to decide what I want ahead of time. And so I just kind of make two different piles. One's a yes pile or technically a maybe pile and a no pile. And then, um, I am good to get started. So here is that photo. It is my son and there were uh, three other uh, boys on there and I don't know them. I am sure it's probably okay to share because it's on their uh, Instagram uh, feed. But just to be on the safe side, I just folded some papers over to cover their faces. So uh, in the close-ups, I just blurred out their faces. So you'll get to be able to see the whole thing. But I don't know how to blur out their faces for the video. So um, you'll have to just kind of go with me for this, this little bit. So this is a, a screenshot at, of an Instagram post. So it's probably maybe like a three by four photo, I would say. And I'm going to mat it twice. I really think I could have matted it three times. I think I should have started with uh, a white piece of cardstock, but it's okay uh, because my title piece is going to be this ephemera piece that says the crew, which I thought was perfect because they're, they're obviously doing some sort of construction. So I backed it with the same paper that uh, is the frame of the layout. And then I backed it with the leaf one. So here is where I am going to do a little uh, mixed media on this. So I have a couple of Distress Oxides out and I just put it on my glass mat, added some water, and I'm just dipping the stars into them. So... I'm going to do that in all five of the colors. So the first one is saltwater taffy. 
This one is um, speckled egg. Then I think I've got kitsch flamingo, some weathered wood, and I have put them away since then. So let's see, where did I? Let's see if I can figure it out. Uh, the weathered wood and pumice stone are the colors. And um, I did leave this in because I wanted you to kind of see, this is that pumice stone, kind of see what the colors were. And these dried really quickly. And you get so, like, I'm not even sure that I fussy cut out half the piece of paper. It could be close, but, um, and I have all of these starts. Like, that's so many embellishments. And I love that you can just color them whatever color you want, or you can just leave them as is. Oh, and then I'm bringing in rusty hinge and fossilized amber because apparently I needed some more colors. <laughs> um, and I really do love how this looks. So it does kind of get, um, I would, it kind of looks like it pools a little bit on some of them, but I think for the most part, it's a pretty even coverage, I would say. And that rusty hinge actually is a really good color for that um, background paper. Now, when these dry, they are definitely going to warp, uh, but I kind of am in love with it because they warp and give like dimension. Obviously, they're going to flatten out when I put it in a page protector, but um, you'll see in the close-ups like like they just curl up. So I just decided to uh, glue them in the very center and let them curl up and kind of do their thing. So here is where I'm going to do that diagonal design. I'm going to put a lot of these stars down. I'm going to add some of the uh, wood veneer leaves. And then I'm also going to pull... Uh, two of the cute little, no, three of the fabric flowers, actually, now that I'm looking at it, three of those are going to make it on. And then I also pulled the wood veneer stars that came in the kit. And then I went into my stash and got some little gears that I got in the, um, the big sale that we had, um, Labor Day sale, um, with the grab bags. And so I'm going to add those. Oh, maybe the wood veneer stars also came in the grab bag. So, but anyway, this is all from the shop. So I'm going to add those little gears, which I thought was good for the construction. I love the wood veneer stars and the little bits that they add. I did add one puffy, shiny uh, star. I actually had already used the yellow one that came in the kit and I wanted another yellow one. So I pulled that from my stash. You see that over there. I was thinking about pulling in these corduroy uh, stars from the shop. Um, I do like that one there, but it it doesn't end up staying. So I'm going to go off screen and I'm going to glue everything down. Now these stickers, um, I got in the shop as well. And I just added an A and an F. So it's the AF crew, which does stand for Air Force, just in case anybody's curious. So uh, make sure you head over and grab this kit. Check out the Facebook group in the shop and use my code crystal 10 and that will save you 10 percent plus all of the links you need so remember to wear your crown and i will see you next time bye